Has your dog been coughing lately? And maybe a trip to your vet has diagnosed kennel cough. Now, most vets at this point may want to prescribe antibiotics for this infection, but are they necessary? Let's find out in today's short video and also look at some great alternatives too. Lindell Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality, and welcome to my channel, Happy Healthy Dogs, where it's my passion to help you help your dog live a longer, healthier life naturally. Now, I do appreciate your support for being here on the channel today. If you're new, guys, please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the little bell to be notified of all my upcoming videos. So has your dog ever had kennel cough? Now, kennel cough is also known as canine infectious tracheobronchitis, and it's characterized by this hacking cough that's an associated noise that sometimes sound like your dog might be choking on something. Now, kennel cough is comparable to a chest cold in humans, and it's caused by a combination of bacteria known as Bordadella, as well as some type of viral infection. Now, this might include distemper, it might be canine herpes virus, or a number of other viruses. Now, the, the viral infection makes your dog more susceptible to the bacteria. And most dogs will tend to get kennel cough if their system has been weakened by exposure to crowded or poorly ventilated areas such as in a kennel or a shelter. Uh, and you know, this is a highly contagious infection too. Cold temperatures, exposure to dust or cigarette smoke and also travel induced stress. Along with the classic cough and kennel cough, your dog might also experience runny nose or watery eyes, a discharge and some lethargy. Now, while this might sound pretty awful, and it is for, you know, none of us want to see our dogs being unwell or suffering, really kennel cough is a generally self-limiting condition and can most likely resolve on its own without intervention. But it's my experience that many dogs who've been diagnosed with, with this are routinely being prescribed with antibiotics. In fact, I had this experience with a client just the other day because I felt it was not a good idea to give the antibiotics due to other health issues we opted for some natural support to help deal with the potential kennel cough. Now, remembering that kennel cough is a combination of both a bacterial and a viral infection, so antibiotics are only going to be effective against the bacterial part. And while there might be some situations in a severely immune compromised dog where antibiotics might be potentially useful, it's really my belief that this can be treated naturally with a number of different methods. And as I mentioned before, many dogs can resolve this on their own without intervention in around three weeks. So if your dog does have kennel cough, my top recommendations for you are, firstly, and most importantly, I think you need to just make sure your pet is being isolated so they're not spreading this to any other animals. And make sure that you have a room for your dog that's warm but really well humidified and make sure also they're getting as much rest as possible. You can offer them bone broth or a brothy soup as well as plenty of water to make sure they're really hydrated and nourished without the need for really heavy digestion. And these can be offered frequently to make sure you, that your dog keeps their fluid levels up. Now, one of my favorite remedies for kennel cough and indeed any upper respiratory condition is the beautiful Manuka honey. Now, this highly antibacterial raw honey is an amazing healing honey that helps fight infection as well as soothing those irritated and sore bronchial and other tissues. Now, when looking for Manuka honey, you'll find that there are different levels of its antibacterial action which is actually noted on the label by way of numbers. So for example, Manuka 5 plus is not as strong as a 30 plus, etc. Now for the majority of dogs, I find a 5 plus is really sufficient and a lot cheaper than the stronger versions. And the majority of dogs do love honey and will often just take this straight off the spoon to lick it. You can give from a quarter to one teaspoon two or three times a day, depending on your dog's weight. Now, herbs also really come into their own when treating something like kennel cough because each herb, remember, has multiple actions. You can address all facets of this type of infection by a combination of the right herbs. Now, in my kennel cough blend, I really love to use a blend including herbs like echinacea, garlic, marshmallow, rose hips, mullein, elecampane and yarrow. Now, this combination actually helps fight both bacterial and viral infections. It reduces the inflammation, supports the lung and bronchioles, 
boosts the immune system and really soothes those irritated tissues. And I usually prescribe this in combination with a little bit of Manuka honey with great results. I'll leave a link for that product in my online store in the description box below if you guys want to check it out at all. And vitamin C, now this is an excellent way to both boost your dog's immune system at any time, but particularly during an infection, as well as address a viral infection. I like to use this either in the form of rose hips or as a buffered uh, vitamin C powder with bioflavonoids. Vitamin C powder can be added to dog's bone broth or a little bit of their water or mixed in with manuka honey for an extra boost or into their food. And I generally give this for a period of two to three weeks, depending on your dog and the severity of their cough. So vitamin C, manuka honey and a combination of herbs can all be given together or you can just try one or two of these at a time. If your dog only has a really mild case of kennel cough, I do find generally just one remedy is sufficient to knock it out. But combine all three for a severe case and give up to three weeks or a little bit more. And finally, making sure that your dog's immune system is always strong and healthy in the first place is really going to help prevent kennel cough or any other opportunistic infection from really taking hold. So always make sure that your dog's on a really lovely natural, pre natural preferably raw diet, reduce chemical load, avoid stress, and just generally help support their body through healthy practices. This is gonna make them much stronger and much less vulnerable when it comes to infections. So as you can see, I believe that we just don't need to rely on antibiotics at all unless it's a very severe infection and your dog is very unwell. There might be a case for that uh, antibiotics at that point. But otherwise, look to use some more natural methods. And if you're not sure, then please feel free to contact me either through um, the details I leave below in description. You can email me or send me a message uh, in the comments. Um, with your dog's experience or if your dog's having any health issues at all, any problems around kennel cough or any upper respiratory problem, um, please let me know. I'd love to help you further. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe once again if you haven't already. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll look forward to meeting you again in another video. See you very soon. Bye for now.